Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Sinus. I'm a tarot reader. It's really nice to meet you. I hope that everybody watching is doing well. Hope you guys are all taking care of yourselves. So, today's pick a card, you guys, is going to be a pick a card on how are you gonna meet your future husband, your wife, your boo, your spouse, okay? How are you gonna meet them? Um, that's what we're doing. I'm really excited for you guys to get into the reading, so I'm not gonna... So, I will just enter Eclipse piles right now. All right, guys, these are the four piles. We have group number one with the bear, group number two with the sun, group number three with the anchor, and group number four with the stars, okay? So, if you guys need a moment to meditate, go ahead and pause the video and you can, you know, do that right now. And if you want to pick more than one pile, you're always welcome to do so. However, with this one, I would suggest trying to pick one pile, okay? All right, you guys, so now that you have hopefully and instinctually picked your pile, please go ahead and check out my description box. We've left everybody time stamps for when your reading will start. And with that, let's go and jump into this pick a card. How will they meet their husband? Huh. Let me put you there. Oh my God. Group number, okay, thank you. Interesting, wow, okay. So group one, I have a question are you guys into manifestations like is is love something that you guys try to manifest or is it something you have manifested before in the past like is that something you work with you vibrate with that because like that's kind of what's coming up with the tarot cards is like a manifestation of you bringing your future husband or wife to you okay or they them to you um so it's really really oh that flame is like ooh, ooh, ooh it's feeling it it's really interesting group one so we have the ace of cups <clears throat> excuse me like my throat the ace of cups you guys is talking about an overflow of love an overflow of an emotion so in regards to how you will meet your husband how you will meet your wife how you will meet your partner you guys so this overflow of an emotion is kind of telling me that either you will be in a very emotional state or your partner will be in a very emotional state when you guys meet the main thing i get with this though is like love you know what i'm saying I, I the main thing that i'm feeling with this card is like an automatic like oh my god i love you so much so i feel like you guys could be really desiring this overflow of emotion or really feeling like oh i wish i could believe in love again or i wish that love can come to me again um and i feel like this is more representation i feel like this is more representing the desire to have this feeling of like unconditional pure like true real love um that's what i feel like this is talking about but this is an overflow of love like for the traditional sense okay booby you gonna have to like and then we have the ten of cups so with this i really feel like this is talking about you guys being whole and complete completely and totally on your own prior to meeting your future spouse your husband your wife you guys are going to be in this state of feeling completely and totally just like emotionally fulfilled on your own you know what i'm saying and i feel like this is just saying like your life will be so full of love and so full of happiness before this person comes into your life and then when they come into your life they are just adding on top like you see all these cups you guys yeah these nine cups down here are like happiness and like i feel so content and so happy in my day-to-day -day life and like i'm kind of seeing this cup here up top that's like laying on the rest of these cups as like your spouse and it's like you already have all this happiness you already have all this joy you already have this love and and then this person comes in and they kind of just add on top of it so i feel like that's super cute you guys are going to be in a place in your life where like you want love you're open to love you're ready for love but at the same time like you are whole complete and happy on your own and you're like i'm good if i if i meet someone i meet someone if i don't i'm still so freaking happy um now I, we also have the magician here you guys now the magician talks about manifestation so you guys either already have manifested this person and like the universe is just you know he or she is on shipment okay they are they are shipping out to you now we don't know how long that shipment's gonna take but like this is kind of giving me that energy of like they're on their way like you've manifested them already or you're going to be manifesting them and that is what's going to help push them along uh to your guys's union so yeah the magician just talks about manifestation saying that you have everything that you need in order to get what you want so again you guys this gives me the energy of being whole and complete on your own literally the magician has everything he needs he doesn't need anything he has everything okay um so it gives me that energy again of like you guys being really fulfilled and happy and content in your life already prior to meeting this person and this person is just like a bonus Ooh. how oh oh okay so we have the bear, oh, sorry. 
we have the bear and we have letter. So I will start out with the bear first, you guys. Um, automatically, the freaking, the song from Jungle Book popped into my head, the bear necessities, okay? Um, and when I think of bears, I do oftentimes think of like the Jungle Book, you know, I grew up watching Disney. And I feel like this again, yet again, is talking about being happy, being content. As you guys can see here, like this bear is standing here with this fish in his mouth. Obviously, like that's, you know, what the bear needs in order to survive. So again, I just kind of get this vibe that you guys are going to be in a place where you have everything that you need. But besides that, you guys could be out in nature when you meet this person. Maybe you guys are going on a camping trip. Maybe you guys are gonna be at the grocery store because like this bear is literally like he has a freaking fish in his mouth. So maybe you guys are gonna be at the grocery store or a camping trip out in nature. When I think of bears, I think of like national parks. I think of like, you know, the woods, you don't get all spooky dokey or maybe the jungle depending on where you live. Um, but yeah, so there is that. You know what, you guys, I kind of get like this energy of being like kerfuffled um because this bear looks like he has just been kerfuffled like he looks like a little shocked he's like oh like what the heck so i feel like you guys are kind of kind of you guys are going to be in the space of like minding your own business doing your own thing you know you're out there catching your fish and then all of a sudden like you meet this person and you're like oh, oh wait a minute like oh, well, what the heck Okay, you guys, now we also have the letter. Now the letter talks about obviously writing messages. So I obviously have to connect this back to social media just because that is how a lot of people do communicate nowadays through social media, either through Instagram, maybe through WhatsApp, um, maybe through, you know, I'm not sure, TikTok, I don't know, whatever it may be, you guys may just be communicating online or through text message. So maybe you guys meet and then automatically like exchange numbers. And that's how you guys start to get to know each other is through messages um i don't know maybe you guys are even pen pals i don't know i know some people do that i think that's super romantic and cute so you guys may even be pen pals their person their spouse we have the 12th house of escape we have pluto transformation and we have pisces i believe so obviously you guys watching this may be a Pisces, this other person may be a Pisces, um, or you guys may have Pisces significant in your birth chart, moon, rising, sun, obviously, maybe your Venus, maybe your seventh house, okay? So there is that. Now with this, I believe card, you guys, again, this is kind of just giving me the energy of like, feeling whole and complete, knowing that you are worthy of love, knowing that like your plate is full, even if you don't have this other person coming in. So I think that's really beautiful. Now we also have this transformation card, you guys. So you guys may be going through a rather transformative time in your life. You guys may be moving. Um, maybe this person is going to end up being like a neighbor or someone who lives in your apartment complex, or maybe through you guys moving to a different side of town or in a different, uh, area you will then be around this person more or be in the vicinity of where this person lives and then like you know you guys will have the opportunity to meet so that is another possibility you guys may also be entering into a new job or into you guys may also may be enrolling into school or you know doing something that's transformative in your life something i feel like that may be big um so yeah there is that as well we have the 12th house of escape so this kind of gives me the energy of like what i was saying here with the bear with you guys maybe going out into nature or you guys maybe going out and like having a vacation or something to that effect um i know the 12th house isn't about like vacationing and stuff like that but basically what i get with this is like you guys are going to be in the escape mode of like let's break away from the day to day let's go on an adventure let's go on a hike let's go on a camping trip let's go uh i don't know rock climbing moving on um okay how is group number one going to be a mature man how okay and a gift okay so you guys may be meeting them at a party as well because like we have gift here and this kind of gives it for some reason like when i seen this when this popped up i was like oh white elephant so you guys may be meeting them during like christmas time or like during like a white elephant type thing maybe at a birthday party maybe at like a I don't know like a family event maybe this is like a family friend or like someone or like a friend's friend i don't know but like i feel like you guys are going to be at an event or doing something with other people um and that's how you are going to meet your future husband or wife uh so there is that with that also this gift you guys i obviously feel like you meeting this person it's going to feel automatically like a gift like you are receiving a blessing so there is that some of you may be even meeting them like at church or something like that 
I don't know if you guys go to church, uh, but that's a possibility. Now, we also have a mature man, you guys, okay? And uh, when I seen him pop out, I was like, library vibes. This gives me library vibes. This gives me book vibes. Um, just because he's surrounded by freaking books. So again, uh, you guys may be meeting this person while you are enrolled in college or in high school, or if you're, I don't know what you're, what you're doing educational wise, but you may meet this person while you are learning something. Also, this mature man, he could be, or this person that you're gonna marry, your future spouse could be a little bit older than you guys or you perhaps could be a little bit older than them um but there could be like a significant age gap if there's not an age gap then i feel like you guys will both be at a stage in your life again where you feel whole and complete you feel really mature you feel like you know you're not you know out there trying to party and like live a crazy life you're just mature stable settled down okay how is group number one okay so we have adventure like i said we had harmony and ancestors and reflection okay so with this ancestors card you guys again you guys could be meeting them at like a family function um or like at like going to a friend's house or something or like at a friend's family get together or something like that i feel like you're going to be with other people when you meet this person for a lot of you um so that's why i feel like this ancestors card is popping up okay you guys may also share a similar ancestral background um, so there's that. Uh, now we also have reflection. Okay. We have reflection and I feel like this reflection card is kind of in regards to this escape card where it's like, you guys are taking time to reflect. You guys are taking time to like, look at your life, take, uh, take account of all the blessings that you have. And that's what I feel like this reflection card is talking about. Like you guys taking time away. Okay. Now we also have harmony, you guys, which again, I was talking about this. Now for some of you, like you may already be in this har harmonious state of life where you're just like, I'm so freaking happy. I'm full. I'm complete. And I'm so freaking happy for you. Like if this is where you feel like you are at, I think that's amazing. I think that's beautiful. But I do feel like this is a major key step to you guys meeting your future spouse is being happy on your own. I feel like through you doing this and being whole and complete on your own, you are attracting this person to you um versus like you know maybe when you're going through a difficult time maybe this person isn't going to be as inclined to be pulled towards your energy field okay feel really emotionally secure emotionally happy on your own your life is going to be really full before meeting this person now we also have adventure you guys I kept saying like oh i feel like you guys are going to be camping or you guys are going to be like outdoors doing something you guys could also be traveling um now I don't, I feel very like ooh, ooh, ooh about saying that just because I don't want you to feel like you have to travel across the world to meet your husband or your wife. You don't have to do that, you guys. But I feel like this is something that's going to be happening very organically, very organically. Not like, oh, I have to meet my husband. I have to meet my wife. So I have to leave the country. That's not what I'm saying. But like organically, you guys are going to be like, oh, I'm going to take a day trip here or, oh, I'm going to go to the beach on this day or I'm going to go do this on this day. And it's like taking a break from your day to day. Day, escaping from the day-to-day -day and taking a break going on an adventure exploring something or going to do something and I feel like it does have to do with the outdoors for some of you for others of you like I said I feel like you will be introduced to this person through like a friend of a friend like I you know what I'm saying like ooh, 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 or like a family friend or something like that I'm not sure but that's what it feels like okay how will group number one be meeting their future husband We have offerings and it says abundance lies in the heart that allows share more than expected and see love come around. Okay, so share more than expected, see love come around you guys. Um, you guys are going to be at a place in your life where like you are at peace with everything. You are happy, you are content, you are not in need of this person. But when you meet this person, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I want them. Um, so that's what I'm feeling with this card, you guys. It's literally just saying abundance lies in the heart that allows share more than expected, see love come around. How will group number one be meeting their future husband? Ooh. Be authentic. 
be authentic, you guys, okay? And it says, be real and true to who you are and how you feel, okay? So by being, again, whole and complete on your own, being authentically you and not holding back, not feeling like you have to impress anybody, not feeling like you have to be somebody that you're not and just being 100% yourself is how you will meet this person. Now, again, you guys, I am kind of getting like beachy vibes for some of you. Some of you are going to be on the beach when you meet this person or near a beach when you meet this person, okay? Um, I feel like the ocean has something to do with this connection or again, just going out and exploring or going out and going on a vacation or camping going out into nature something like that again for some of you it will be <clears throat> again for some of you it will be like you being introduced to this person through a friend or a family friend or something like that so can I get a message in regards to how group number one will be meeting their future spouse okay so we have unexpected. So you guys will be meeting this person unexpectedly. Like I was saying here with the bear, I feel like you guys are going to be bamboozled or like kerfuffled through meeting this person. Is kerfuffled the word to use, you guys? I feel like that may be something else. Oh my God, look, we have soulmate. Oh, group one, your husband, your wife is going to be your soulmate. I'm so excited. We have keep going. Keep doing what makes you happy. Keep doing what you feel called to do and in doing that like you will meet your husband you will meet your wife you will meet your they slash them husband and wife okay we also have masculine all right so i do feel like masculine energy may be significant for some of you watching this obviously not for all of you we have young okay so some of you may be younger when you meet your husband again i said there was like an age difference for some of you obviously keep it appropriate if you are you know, underage, I'm not encouraging you to do anything you shouldn't be doing or they shouldn't be doing. Um, we also have rain, you guys. So it may be a rainy day when you meet this person. Ooh. We have a deep as well. Deep. So with that, I will just go ahead and roll some dice for you guys really quick and then we will end. Okay, we have Aquarius and we have a Leo. So hello, Aquarius. Hello, Leo. Um, do, do, do. Aquarius, Leo. That is that. Let me go over the zodiac signs again. There also may be a water sign here. Okay, Cantor, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Pisces. Oh, Pisces did pop up. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I'm getting, you guys. So be authentic to you. Keep going on your path. Do you. Do what makes you happy. Do what you feel called to. And I feel like when you are at a point where you're happy and you're content and you're full, your life is full, that's when you will meet your husband. That's when you will meet your wife. Also, some of you may be going on a little bit of an adventure. Could be a day trip, could be a longer trip. Um, but I do feel like adventure is involved in the meeting of your future spouse. And for some of you, there will be a meeting that like a friend introduces you to this person or a family friend will introduce you to this person, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Group number one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for allowing me to read for you today. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below how you are resonating. And yeah, that's what I got. So thank you. I love you. And I will talk to you guys really, really soon. Okay, bye. Hello, group two. Welcome to your reading. Let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, we have a wrapping up of cycles. We have contentment. And we have the three of swords. Okay, interesting. So we may have Taurus here. We may have Leo here. We may also have some some raven claws here okay so there's that um all right so we have the world you guys this is telling me group two you guys are going to be wrapping up a cycle something in your life is ending this could be a relationship this could be a job this could be uh friendships this could be a lot of different things a lot of different things group number two but basically this is like something's ending something's not happening anymore or like we're closing a chapter and we're moving on to something spunky and fresh and new and bright and happy that's what this is telling me like you guys are really going to be in this stage of transitioning this stage of moving on from something like opening up a new door is what this is telling me you guys are gonna be opening up a new door closing the old one okay we have the six of cups in reverse you guys now the six of cups is talking about looking back on the past so i do feel like with this six of cups um because it's in reverse it's kind of telling me that you guys may be struggling with letting go whatever this door that we're closing is 
Um, I don't know if this is a relationship again or a job, a friendship, etc, etc, etc. You guys fill in the blank, okay? But this is like I'm struggling with letting this thing go. I'm struggling with not looking back on the past. I'm struggling with moving forward. Now, we also have the Three of Swords, you guys, which is talking about heartbreak, okay? So some of you may be going through a rather significant breakup when you meet your future spouse, your future husband, your future wife. You guys may be going through a rather significant heartbreak because that's what this is talking about. Now, heartbreak for me doesn't always signify romantic heartbreak. Um, I've had friends break my heart. I've had family members break my heart. I've had... Um, employers break my heart you know it doesn't have to be like you are going through a breakup but i definitely it is giving me like if i'm being 100 percent honest with you guys it is giving me very much like breakup vibes so for some of you you may be going through a breakup or like i said you may be getting your heart broken or disappointed by somebody who's significant in your life or a job situation so there is that can i how is group number two going to be meeting their future husband or wife what is this change beautiful protection so we have change you guys like i was saying um with the previous tarot cards that we pulled out i do feel like change is definitely something that you guys are going to be going through when you meet this person again this is quite literally like what the world card represents you guys so this is just again like reaffirming that this world card was meant to come out because they're the same thing sure change is going to be happening and i don't know if you guys can tell on her face but she does look rather sad she does look a little like not the happiest about this change i also want you guys to peep the owl here because with change with like losing something with anything negative that comes into our life you guys and i know people don't like to hear this all the time but this is just the truth with things that happen in our lives that are negative we learn from them we become more wise through negative experiences we become more wise through positive experiences as well but negative experiences do tend to bring the most transformation the most change the most wisdom um and i feel like that's why this woman here is like you know she's sad she's not the happiest about this change but through this change through this sadness she's gaining some type of wisdom okay so there's going to be transformation taking place in your life when you meet your future spouse now we also have protection so you guys are going to be in a mode of wanting to protect yourselves okay so with this i really feel i really feel again like this is giving me heartbreak vibes again it could be like a friend betrays you or a family member does or a work situation hasn't worked out so like that's why you're in this mode of protection but i just really really feel like for a lot of you watching this you're going to be hurt when you meet your future spouse you're going to be sad when you meet your future spouse and i'm sorry if that's like not the best news but like that's what's coming up so i'm sorry what is group number two going to be meeting their future spouse Ooh, can i get one more how is group two okay thank you so aries and the seventh house of partners so i want you guys to go ahead and look at your seventh house maybe you have aries in the seventh house um that's obviously not for all of you it is just for some of you um but with this you guys the seventh house is all about relationships <gasps> it's your it's your marriage house okay so i want you guys to go look at your your seventh house i want you guys to fully understand your seventh house because i feel like that's why this is popping up and then i have aries here so aries are very powerful they're very fiery they're very passionate so i do feel like when you meet your future spouse there's going to be a lot of passion involved in this connection just because aries give me that like you know fiery passionate loud um blunt outgoing bold okay so in meeting your future spouse your husband your wife you will be emboldened can i have a message in regards to how group number two is going to be meeting their future Ooh, that's so interesting the cross card automatically it just gives me church vibes even if you're not christian it doesn't it doesn't really matter um you guys could be meeting this person at a church or at a temple or something to that effect um somewhere where you are worshiping or however it is that you choose to worship or whatever it is that you connect to on a spiritual level you may be meeting them through some type of spiritual means okay so that's just what i'm getting with that um but this also kind of just signifies the ending of, again of a chapter and the beginning of a new one the other two cards that popped out also gives me very much like beginning and ending type energy just because we have the clouds and then we have the sun the clouds obviously are like sad and gloomy and doomy and then we literally have the sun coming out and like a brand new 
energy is happening yeah so like these are quite opposite energies you guys so again something is going to be sad in your life you're going to be sad you're going to have this energy of the clouds and then the sun comes out and i just feel like it's really much signifying this change this transformation Thief obviously talks about stealing something. So this could be a situation where like, again, you guys are going through a breakup. Maybe somebody cheated on you. I just have to go ahead and say that just because that's what's popping up with this card. Because like, you know, this is the energy of like thief, okay? And it looks like this man is kind of staring down this woman and he's like, ooh, ah, ooh. And the kid's like, you know, pocketing his watch. Um, so it just gives me the energy of like, you know, cheating and like misfortune, you guys. Again, misfortune happening here. So something just negative is going on in your life when you meet this person. We also have courthouse. So some of you may be meeting this person at a courthouse or maybe this person works in the judicial system or you work in the judicial system and that's like how you guys are going to be meeting through that type of situation. Um, and then we have great fortune, which again, you guys, like courthouse kind of to me doesn't give me like the best energy, but like thievery obviously is like negative. So again, we have like this negative energy and then we have this, this great fortune coming up so it just feels like a rainy day and then the rainbow comes out and that's when you meet your 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 husband your wife uh and then we have change you guys so again there's some significant change going on in your guys's life when you meet your soulmate or when you meet your <laughs> when you meet your future spouse there's some significant change maybe you guys are moving maybe you guys are changing up how you physically look maybe you guys are changing up um your spiritual beliefs maybe you guys are changing up your circle of friends your job etc 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 fill in the blank for me how is group number two going to be meeting inner power so it says by your own, oh by your own command you brought yourself here at this moment in life you have nothing to fear okay 42 may be significant, okay, because that's what is at the top of this door, 42. But inner power, okay, you guys. So again, when we have this inner power, when we have this strength, it's usually because we're going through a rough time. Can I have a message? Yeah. So we have a back to what you love, you guys. So again, this woman, she's in a cave, you guys. She's in a dark, gloomy, not great time cave, okay? And then she's coming out of this cave and into the freaking light. She's literally walking towards the sun. She's like, yes, baby, bring me the happiness, bring me the sunlight. This keeps popping up for you guys, okay? Going from a dark place to a really freaking happy place, walking out of the cave, going from the clouds to the sunlight, okay? Having this deep transformation, this deep change, okay? So I, don't, I don't know, you guys. You may be meeting this person at a park as well, okay? At a park, because I'm getting that type of energy. And again, you guys, like there's butterflies all around this freaking girl here, okay? Which signifies for me transformation. So, <sighs> transformations all over this reading. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a couple of notes from the boss for you guys. So we have 28, we have the 10th or the number 10. So maybe you guys are going to be meeting around the 10th or uh, the 10th month out of the year. We also have Taurus here. Okay, hello Taurus, love you so much. We have Aquarius here, you guys. So hello, Aquarius, love you. Unexpected. So this makes such sense, you guys, because you guys are gonna be in this area or in this energy of just being sad and like going through change that may be a little bit difficult and like meeting this person's gonna be completely unexpected because I feel like you guys aren't necessarily going to be looking for this person. We have I miss you. I miss you. Okay. You guys may have a deep soul connection. This could be somebody that you have been with in a past life. And that's why I, that's why I miss you is coming up. Um, and then we have short hair. So maybe you guys are going to be cutting off all your hair when you guys uh, meet this person or they have really short hair. Oh my gosh. You guys look at how beautiful that is. We have Vina Vidavici, which is I came, I saw, I conquered. So Vina Vidavici, you guys went through this rough time, but you guys are literally going to freaking conquer it. And like, that's literally the path to meeting your future spouse. Vina Vidavici. Okay. That's what I have for you guys, group two. Please let me know below how this has resonated with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, thank you for letting me read for you. And I will talk to you guys really, really soon. Okay. Bye. Hello, group number three. You guys picked the pink calcite. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. We got the six of wands. Two of wands. 
and the seven of pentacles the seven of pennies okay so with the six of freaking wands okay with the six of wands this is telling me that you guys are going to be feeling very very confident okay you're gonna be feeling yourself you're gonna be like oh ah, ooh, i'm so cute i'm looking so good i'm looking so fresh and clean um this is confidence okay sometimes i see this as like cockiness uh but you know let's stay on the positive it's confidence um so perhaps you guys are getting dressed up for something maybe you're going out maybe you are going to a party or an event so you're getting like really nice and you're in a tux or you're in a really pretty dress or however it is you like to dress you're wearing your best outfit okay okay um or this could be talking about you guys celebrating something so like an accomplishment so you guys have like just reached a really big milestone in your life like a really big goal or like a job goal or aspiration or something like that now we also have the two of wands this is talking about kind of standing back and like evaluating life and being like okay what is my next move what is, what is my next step which makes a lot of sense here because the six of wands like i just said it's a celebration we're celebrating that we just you know finished the mile we just ran the race and we won like we got first place baby and we're celebrating that so now we're kind of taking some time back and we're gonna be like okay what is the next race i'm gonna what's the next marathon okay what is my next career goal what is my next this what is my next that it's like planning out it's like the blueprint okay blueprinting your life after the success okay after the celebration and then we have the seven of pentacles, which is talking about really putting in time and effort towards something. So perhaps you guys are going to throw yourselves into a new work project or into a new goal or into a new something. Like you're throwing yourself into something new and you're putting everything into this. You wanna harvest the seeds that you are planting, yes? That's what this is talking about, you guys planting those seeds and literally just being like you are gonna grow you are you are, you're gonna okay bet that's what this is saying like grow 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 so it sounds like when you meet your husband or when you meet your wife you're gonna be in a place in your life where you are very successful but like you're still trying to like reach other goals like you're you're you accomplish something and it's like okay well what's next we're gonna go to what's next and then it's like planting those seeds, putting in time and effort. So maybe you guys are going to be learning. Maybe you guys are going to be learning something when you meet this person. Can I get power? Interesting. So we have celebration. <laughs> Funny. Um, because same thing, same, same um so yeah guys again we're gonna be celebrating something we're gonna be in this moment of victory okay i want you guys to see this moment in your life as like you have literally just ran like a hundred miles and you just crossed the finish line and you were in first place you literally won the lottery that's what this is giving me not literally but like figuratively you guys just won something you guys are celebrating something because like you've just accomplished a really big goal of yours so this is great you're getting a husband and a celebration of a goal or a wife okay now we also have a power okay stepping into your power you are stepping into this power you guys when you meet your future spouse because you have just accomplished you just had this freaking victory you just freaking got this big boost of of confidence because of this victory here so there's that also you guys may be meeting them at a zoo and i know it's kind of random or like you may be around animals when you meet this person how is group three going to be meeting their future <gasps> okay group three so we have north node purpose again this is the victory this is a celebration. You guys just hit a really big milestone in your life. You guys are on the right track. You guys are following your purpose, okay? Your North Node is all about destiny. So I do feel like for a lot of you, you meeting your husband, you meeting your wife, you are following your destiny, okay? You are literally on the correct path. Oh my God, I feel like, ooh, vibrations. Um, you are on the correct path, you guys, and you are meeting this person through following this path that you are being called to go on. So follow your dreams, you guys. Go after what it is you wanna do. Go after what it is that you are feeling called to do, and through doing that, you will be meeting your husband. You will be meeting your wife, okay? Can I get a message on group? The anchor. Can I have one more, please? How will group... Okay. Can I get a message on how group number three will... Oh, 
key. Ho, ho, ho. Beautiful. How will group number three anchor you guys now when i think of anchors i think of like something to stabilize us yeah like some type of uh stabilization so perhaps you guys are going to be at a period in your life or you're going to be in a moment in your life where you feel very stable you feel very secure again you have confidence that like you are not going to be rocked yeah okay because like you put an anchor down so that your ship doesn't move so you have this confidence that your ship is not moving because you have this anchor down okay you're not going to be rocked by the sea you're like no 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 i am I am stable. I am here. So that's what this um, gives me. It gives me very much just like stabilizing energy. You guys may also be perhaps spending a lot of time at the beach around the time that you meet your future husband or wife or spending a lot of time by the lake or like by like water reservoirs, okay? Rivers, I don't know. <laughs> um, then we also have owls, you guys. So for some of you, you will meet this person a little bit later in life because owls do give me the energy of maturity. They give me the energy of wisdom. They give me the energy of wisdom and knowledge. So I do feel like for some of you, you will have this wisdom. You will have this knowledge. Again, you can be wise at any age. It just depends on the person and the experiences that you have gone through life. But for some of you, you will definitely be a little bit older. Messages, okay? So messages could be referring to perhaps you guys communicating through social media or through text message, maybe email. Um, that's what this right here is talking about. So this message, this email, this text message, this uh, DM may be significant in regards to how you will meet this person or how you guys will start out your communication. We also have community, okay? So I do feel like you guys may meet this person when you are out in the community. Maybe you guys are doing community service or maybe you guys are just uh, participating in some type of community. Maybe you guys are just participating in some type of community event, or maybe you guys are spending a lot of time like out and about in the city, like exploring, having fun. Um, maybe you guys are even doing some type of like charity work. So there is, there is that, okay? Now we also have love is all around you, you guys. Like just being around beautiful people who wanna support you and love you. Um, but this says love is all, wait, love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this truth, okay? So again, just being engulfed in community, being engulfed with your friends and really just experiencing life at the highest level of like love, 11, 11, 11, which is twin flame soulmate energy. And this says numbers and doubles, synchronicities and two, don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. Okay, so let's talk about not holding back love, which is literally like what this love is all around you and just accepting that as a universal truth that love is all around you. And then we have palmistry, you guys, okay? And this palmistry says, palmistry says, fortune and tarot, collective destiny, the palm lines from birth, tell your sacred palmistry. So with this card, you guys, again, I feel like for this group specifically, and I haven't gotten this for any other group so far, you guys are meant to meet this person. This person is a part of your life journey, your life path. And like in this is in your soul contract for you to be with this person, for you to meet your husband, for you to meet your wife. That's not the case for everybody, unfortunately, but like for you guys, this is definitely, definitely the case that you are meant to meet this person. I'm gonna go ahead and roll my astrology dice just so we can see what zodiac signs we're dealing with. We may have some fire signs here. What did I just say? I said we may have some fire signs here and we literally have Aries and Leo. We literally have Aries and Leo. Let's just go ahead and throw Sagittarius in there as well. So hello, fire signs. We may also have some water signs here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's go ahead and pull some little notes from the vase, see what we get. Ooh, okay. I have curvy slash thick, okay? So maybe this is talking about you guys going to the gym and meeting this person at the gym. Um, ooh, which also maybe the anchor is talking about the gym because like iron weights, okay? Ooh. It's so like possibilities. You guys may be meeting at the gym, getting a little thick, working on your booty, okay? Uh, we have soulmate, which I said was destiny. We have January. This may be your birthday, their birthday, or when you guys meet. We have letting go. 
we have happy-go-lucky. So again, you guys are going to be celebrating something. You guys are going to be in a very like uplifted type of energy. You guys have just reached a, an accomplishment, a goal. We have languages. So maybe you guys are going to be learning a different language when you meet this person, or maybe you guys are going to be coming from a different place than this person. And your guys is uh, like, you guys have different first languages. Okay. Okay. So we have September. So September, maybe when you guys meet, we have a yes for any of you who have a yes or no. We have Pisces, hello Pisces, Aquarius. Hello Aquarius, okay? So those are all the messages I have for you guys. Group number three. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you today. I appreciate it. And yeah, that's what I have for you. So thank you. Let me know below how you're feeling and I will talk to you guys really, really soon. Okay, bye. Hello to my final group, group number four. You guys picked the pink Himalaya salt. Let's go ahead and get started on how Okay. We have the tower. Group four. This isn't a great time, but also it could be. It could be if we make it a good time. Okay, so let's just make it a good time. With the tower, you guys, this is talking about destruction, something falling apart, okay? But with this destruction, the good news is we get a we get a brand new piece of land, okay? We get a brand new, there ain't no rubbish on our land anymore. We get to clear it out, okay? So with this, you guys really do have this opportunity to add a fresh start. That's what the tower is talking about, clearing out something so we can build something better. This oftentimes though is uncomfortable. We oftentimes do not wanna let go of this tower. Now we also have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords talks about, you know, having a burst of energy and being ready to charge at life. This may also be talking about going on an adventure and wanting to like seek out something new. So there is that. And we have strength and it kind of, so I'm going to read it both ways. When it's upright, strength talks about having, um, being emotionally strong, being um, internally strong. When it's in reverse, when it's in reverse, it's talking about needing to recognize your power and needing to recognize your strength. So that could go either way for you guys, to be honest. So take that for what you will. How is group kindred spirits? New beginnings of kindred spirits. You and your future wife, your future husband, you guys are kindred spirits. You guys have known each other in a past life. Maybe it wasn't a romantic connection, but I do feel like it was a close connection. Um, there's that. Now this also has a butterfly here, you guys. Now butterflies always tell me that there's some type of transformation going on. There's some type of metamorphosis taking place. So, oh, 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 oh. Let me get, let me get, let me get our girl. Let me get her together. So we also have new beginnings, you guys. And this new beginnings card is talking obviously about a new beginning. Very self-explanatory, yes. Um, starting something new. Um, welcoming in the new, which is really you guys like the people oftentimes like make the tower very ominous but we cannot have new beginnings without either tower or death coming in so even though both those cards have an ominous feel to them we don't get new beginnings without them so this is great you guys this is telling me that you guys will successfully release that tower and it will fall down and we can start this brand new beginning um, now for all of you, this new beginning will be different. For some of you, it will be you starting school. For some of you, it will be you moving or you getting out of a bad relationship or you moving away from your family or you traveling to a different place. Um, I don't know, it's just a new beginning. So it's like a massive change that's taking place in your life, but you're giving up something in order to have this new beginning. Can I? So we have Sagittarius, I see. Now with Sagittarius, I hate to put this on you, Sag, but I always get travel vibes. I always get like, we're going on an adventure. We're going to explore. We're doing something different. So it feels like a, like a whoosh of energy that's changing. Okay. So like literally you guys transformation. Okay. You guys are moving. You guys are traveling. You guys are seeking. We also have uh, the lunar eclipse change. Okay. So this is invoking some type of change yet again, you guys very interesting or maybe during Sagittarius season oh my god we have the moon again see it's okay so like I just said maybe the moon is in Sagittarius or maybe there will be a lunar eclipse but literally you guys like the moon has to do with how you're gonna meet your future spouse and I get a message in regards to how group number four is going to be meeting 
Oh my god, you guys are really connected to like the ethers, yeah? We have the star, okay? The stars. So again, I feel like you guys should be looking um, astrologically, maybe looking into your birth chart for clues in regards to how you will meet your husband or your wife. So yeah, I feel like you guys should look at your astrology chart in depth and see what clues are in there. But also you guys, I feel like it's very possible you guys are gonna meet them during like at night. Okay, maybe you guys are going stargazing and you meet this person. Maybe you guys are traveling to a place that just has like uh, the stars lit up. I know for me, I live in a place where like, I don't get to see the stars very often, which is really, really freaking sad. Um, but maybe you guys are gonna be traveling to a place where the stars are just lit up by the night sky um, or the stars light up the night sky. Um, what else? Also, this could be talking about this person being a blessing in your life, all right? Um, for some of you, you may be traveling to Los Angeles or you may be traveling to New York. I'm getting that just because I'm getting kind of like Hollywood vibes. So there is that. But I definitely think astrology is going to be significant in regards to how you meet this person. Can I get a message in regards? Poverty. Coffin. Put that there, put that there, put that there. Can I get one door that... Poverty and coffin come out, you guys. So you guys may be in a financially stressful situation. I'm not saying you guys are going to be in poverty, but you guys may be in a financial uh, stressful situation when you meet your soulmate or when you meet your husband, when you meet your wife. Um, so that is a possibility here with this poverty card. Maybe you guys are also working with um, the impoverished the impoverished I'm saying that correctly yes um or maybe you guys are just working or living in an area that may be a little bit um of a you know there's some poverty in that area I mean I'm also noticing the black cat and I know oftentimes like black cats do signify like bad luck but like nah black cats are good luck anyways then we have the coffin you guys which is literally just a tower okay this is just again saying that there will be something ending this is not saying that anybody's going to die you guys that's not i don't want to put that energy out there so i'm not going to put that out there but this is just something ending okay something coming to an end so that a new beginning can uh, arise um we also have hummingbird song and it says nectar of sweetness and joy it brings the hummingbirds healing as medicine it sings so maybe you guys are gonna meet them at like a, an instrumental store or maybe you guys are gonna be like at an open mic type situation or at a concert or something that involves like music so that's really interesting also you guys may be out in nature there may be seeing you may be seeing a lot of hummingbirds around the time that you meet your future spouse we have distant dream and it says a distant the distance calls your heart to roam free as you dare to dream it so mode it be or so must it be i'm sorry i'm so used to you know so so must it be you guys this is talking about perhaps you are seeing this person in your dreams already or perhaps for some of you this is going to be the person that you have always dreamed of um this is also talking about allowing yourself to dream allowing yourself to be open and ready to have this person also it talks about distance so this person may be at a distance at the moment maybe there is some like distance between the two of you like physical distance we have act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they are with you so you will always consider them oh that is really so sweet so this is literally saying act as if your partner act as if your husband or your wife is already here just send them love you guys send them energetic love pray for them pray for your future husband pray for your future wife send them good energy wish them well okay keep them in your thoughts we have scorpio and we have taurus okay scorpio taurus and we also have that sagittarius here i want to roll again which I never do, but I just feel like I need to. Oh, okay, we have Libra and we have Leo. Libra and Leo as well, okay? From the boss, see if we can get any extra information. We have Charming. Okay, so we have Sagittarius again, you guys, which maybe you guys are meeting them during Sagittarius season. We have 12. Uh, either in the afternoon or maybe we ha this is midnight we don't have an a.m. or a p.m. there so there's that we have charming okay so I do feel like this person will be rather charming to you guys Ooh, we have I want you 
you have intelligent. So maybe you guys are going to be meeting them while you're at school, or maybe you're going to be learning something new. Maybe you're taking like a yoga class and you meet them. Maybe you're taking a boxing class, or maybe you're taking a, I don't know, you're learning something, a new language, something like that. You're taking something new. You're learning something new when you meet this person, perhaps. We have signs, which goes back into like astrology being significant in this relationship or in this connection on how you guys meet. We have piercing, so maybe you guys are getting a piercing when you meet them, for some of you. Um, or maybe they just have a significant piercing. Have north. Okay, so maybe you guys live in the north, or maybe this person lives in the north. Okay, we have February, which we're in February now, and we have third party. So it's possible you guys will be meeting this person through a third party situation. Okay, so overall, you guys, when you meet this person, you guys are going to be going through a tower moment, okay? There's some type of destruction happening. There's some type of transformation happening. We have new beginnings happening. We have this coffin moment happening, which again signifies something ending. Something is like finito. Um, and then we have the moon and the stars, you guys, which again just gives me the energy of like astrology being significant and how you guys meet or perhaps the moon cycles. Again, maybe a full moon, maybe a solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, um, acting as if this person is already in your life, perhaps travel, and you guys are kindred spirits. So to be honest, I do feel like you guys energetically are going to be pulled to each other. Like you guys already feel each other energetically. So that is what I have for you guys. Group number four. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys literally so freaking much. Um, please let me know below how this has resonated with you. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you today. I appreciate it. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you really, really soon. Okay, bye.